is uh, Daniela Corda. I'm Italian, I'm a cell biologist. I work in the, at the National Research Council in Naples. Uh, gender factors are very important in research. Just consider that uh, we are basically wasting 50% of the power that we could, we could have in science if we would completely ignore gender. We are not ignoring it, but it's taking into account too little. So the moment we will take it in account fully, we will rescue 100% of our science power. To have more women in science and in many other careers, uh, there are many steps that have to be taken. First of all, the way of looking at women and men in the society should be, uh, should be changed and uh, make the word equal opportunity really an equal thinking and assessing of uh, you know, the value of people. So it is very important and it will be always more important to look at what people are and can do and not what the people look like or the sex and other things. So I would say that altogether what counts is excellence. In science you have to look at excellence and capabilities of people and nothing else. No, the sum, uh, gender summit uh, started a few years ago and uh, I was among the leaders in science participating at the very first meeting and we prepared the manifesto that it may sound simple in the way you uh, in reading it I mean with the concept that I have expressed but these are very fundamental point that should be uh, you know repeated and uh, even more important <laughs> made, the, made the practical approaches to science. So gender, the Gender Summit is repeating and reinforcing the concept and it will be badly needed until we will have all the 100% of our science force in command.